What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp plugin review. So sometimes in SketchUp you're going to find yourself in a situation where you need to be able to bend objects in a certain way um, in order to uh, get the desired result that you want. So this week's extension allows you to do that by letting you go in there and bend an object along a quad surface. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So plugin name, Flowify. Plugin developer, Anders L. How much does it cost? It's free. Where can you get it? You can get it by searching for Flowify in the SketchUp extension warehouse. Basically, what this extension does is takes groups and components and bend th bends them along a quad face. In general, that means it can bend them along objects with four corners. This can be useful for any number of things, including creating custom stair rails, creating organic meshes, or just generally detailing shapes you'd otherwise struggle to create in SketchUp. Using the extension is a five-step process. You start by creating a target face as a group. Then you create a shape to act as a projection grid as a group. From there, you're going to create two lines connecting your target shape to your projection grid, also as a group. And then those three groups need to go inside another group. Finally, model the object you'd like to create on your projection grid, also as a group. Once you've done that, you can select your group of three objects and your object that you want to project and then select Flowify from the Flowify menu. So I think I'm going to do away with the numerical rating system in these plugin reviews. It feels a little arbitrary and doesn't really feel 100% fair giving numerical scores to extensions that aren't necessarily comparable. However, I do still want to talk a little bit about usefulness, functionality, ease of use, things like that. I'll leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. If you like the old rating system, let me know if you think this is better. I'd love to hear about that as well. So usefulness and functionality. So this extension is great for creating complex shapes in SketchUp. However, it does take some lateral thinking to use sometimes, so it's not always the right choice. When it is the right choice though, it can allow you to do things that, that would otherwise be very difficult to do. From a cost standpoint, this is a free extension. Um, as far as I'm concerned, anytime an extension like this is free, it's definitely worth downloading and playing around with just to see what you can do. Ease of use and documentation. Um, the plugin developer has several tutorial videos on, on the extension page in the extension warehouse. However, for some reason I found them a little long and hard to follow and struggled for a bit to figure out how this extension worked. Once I got the steps kind of figured out, it was pretty it was pretty easy, but for whatever reason I just struggled with the documentation that was out there. Uh, it might have just been a me issue, but go check it out and see what you think. So overall, this isn't an extension you're going to use in your everyday modeling. However, it can become another tool in your toolbox for creating items you otherwise couldn't in SketchUp. So that's where I'm going to wrap up this plugin overview. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this extension. If you gave it a try, if you've had trouble with it, I'd love to have a SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, uh, just to help me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, as always, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.